It is a national crisis being felt here in Connecticut. A shortage of police officers in New Haven. They're down about 90 right now, but that's something they're working to address through recruitment and retention. News 8's Evan Zamaris shows us how. Being from New Haven, you know, growing up, born and raised, I've seen many officers throughout my life become an inspiration to me. What drives officer Chantel Ratchford to put on this uniform every day? goes far beyond protecting and serving. Every time I see someone I know, they're always proud of me, and that makes me go even harder. As one of the newest members of the New Haven Police Department, she's hoping to make a positive impact on the community she grew up in and inspire others, especially women, to join the force. There might be some ups and downs along the way, but if you really want it, get to it. You got it. She started at a critical time as there's a shortage of police officers across the country. And we are feeling that locally right now. Assistant Chief David Zanelli says they're down about 90 officers. He says these are the three main reasons why younger people and potential candidates are looking for greater flexibility and work-life balance. Law enforcement as a whole is facing increased criticism and a hope for better pension, pay and benefits. Without a collective bargaining agreement, that's made things Things even more challenging for NHPD. We're working on it actively with the union in the city and we hope to reach an agreement in the near future. And those vacancies impact officers. We see a lot of officers that will leave because we're short staffed. So because of that, we have to order officers to stay more so now than we have in the past. Now there's a push to not only recruit, but to retain the officers they have. It blinked and here I am, a veteran officer. Recruitment banners hang outside police headquarters and over Whaley Avenue. One thing that really drew me to the city of New Haven was just the size. And this video has been shared to social media, encouraging people to apply. So there's so many different avenues you can take, you know, in this profession, whether it be working in the schools as a school resource officer, actually getting involved in a neighborhood and actually making real change in the neighborhood as a patrol officer, or um, advancing in your career being a detective, being a sergeant, and being a lieutenant, you know, and working your way up. Sergeant Paul Finch is working within the department's recruitment and background unit to fill those spots, finding the right people to join them. We end up being like a family because we spend so much time together, you know, and then on top of that, we all have to be safe in the community together. So you end up having each other's back, you know, looking out for each other and, um, and just doing this whole career together. For a closer look on how you can apply in the application process, we have that information for you right on our News 8 website and app. In New Haven, Eva Zamaris, News 8.